Good morning from Pancor Marina. Today we're going to do things a little different. We're not going sailing, we're not doing boat work, but today we've got something special for you. So stay tuned. Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. In our last episode, we anchored on Coral Beach, Panko Island and had dinner at Nipa Deli owned by Chef Chua. If you missed that episode, the link is up here. Today's video was supposed to be about Teluk Bate campsite, but we decided to switch to today's topic instead. Sorry to disappoint those of you who were looking forward to Teluk Bate, but we promise we will feature that in a future video. Since we have been based here in Pankor Marina, we have learned so much about boats, how they are hauled out and how they are hauled back in. We have learned about how to replace through hulls, about how anchovies are caught and we have explored many of the local restaurants here eating a variety of our favourite Malaysian food. The one thing we haven't explored is how to leave Pankor by sea. Now let's say we are ready for sailing and want to head over to Penang. Can we just sail off? Or is it much like flying where in airports we always have to check in and check out regardless of whether it's a local flight or an international flight? In this episode, we share the procedure of how to check out from one port and check in to another. Please remember to hit that like button and leave us a comment below. To know how to move from port to port, please keep to the end of today's video. It's a beautiful morning here in Panko Marina. And today, we're delivering this yacht to Penang. What are we doing, James? We're heading to Penang today, and uh, hopefully everything works well. We have tested the boat and fill up water, diesel, everything, all the way. It is crucial that before a long passage like this, that engines are checked and the sea trial is done. We completed ours last week and we are ready to go. If all goes as planned, it should take us 4 hours to arrive in Straits Key, Penang. Aside from the engines running well, we also carry additional fuel and water supply for the journey just in case we need more than what the boat has in its tanks. There are a number of marine navigational apps in the market. The one used for this passage is Navionics because it's the preferred app that James and Captain Shah use here in Panko Marina. If you have an app you prefer, tell us what it is and why in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. This was a first experience for both Sam and I and we learned a lot on just this one passage. Take for example the waves created by these boats twin engine propellers. I learned that just by observing the waves, you can tell if both engines are in sync or at different levels of performance. They should both be working the same and there should be a symmetrical look to the waves. This boat has twin engines, two cabins and a nice little salon. It's not yet set but we'll show you around. This is the salon, there's a circular sofa here and some portholes for ventilation. That's the bee berth and that's the shower. There is a small galley on this side. This is the shower cubicle which is also known as the head. There is a sink, a toilet and also a porthole to look out of. This is the V-berth and it has a big comfy bed. All the cushions from the cockpit are in here right now so it looks a little messy. There's also a lot of storage and there's also portholes for ventilation. This is the cockpit and there is a lounge here. There is a small galley on this side. Twin engines and another cabin on the back inside there. This cabin has two beds and its own head and shower. We didn't want to cook on this passage so we brought along roti chanai which filled our belly so that we didn't get seasick. This is the Navionics application that we use. We are travelling at 21.4 nautical miles and we are approaching Penang. There is a turn off in 3.7 nautical miles. 
we will enter Penang from the southeast side of the island. We have to look out for fishing nets and speeding boats around this area, as well as shallow water. We arrived safely in Penang Strait Ski Marina and checked in. We made the journey of 80 nautical miles within 4 hours at an average speed of 19 knots with no hiccups. This boat was successfully delivered to a happy owner. James is slowly manoeuvring us in to that slot over there. You can see the boys are waiting. slowly floating into this spot here. Such a tight squeeze. And we have made it safe and sound to Straight Ski Marina. James has maneuvered us in so well into this super tight spot. Really happy to arrive. All yachts are required to clear with immigration at every port in Malaysia. Moving from port to port, Checkout must happen within 24 hours. Step 1. Immigration Department. Fill in the form for master and crew list. The immigration officer will print out a certificate of clearance with the crew list. Provide them your IC if Malaysian or passport for foreigners. Foreigners must be present at immigration for this process. Step 2. Jabatan Laut. Present the officer your check-in papers from the current port. Fill in the next port checkout form. Step 3. Customs Office This is the final step where the officer will provide you with a port clearance document for the next port. For us to check out, we head to Pangkor Marina office and speak to Roos, the lady in charge to assist with checkouts for yachties who are berthed here. Once we arrive in Penang, we use a ship clearance agent to handle our check-in procedure and all we had to do was wait for clearance. Once cleared, we were able to sign in at the Straight Ski Marina office. Remember to give us a thumbs up as it helps us out a lot. Ta ta! So, the boat coming from the left, what do you do? Wait lah, you see lah. Correct! Push uh. to the, the boat coming from the left, we are coming from the right, we have the right away. Do you want to know why? We are facing the starboard side. So, it's green. Green yes. means go. Yes. Red means stop. Yes. Yes, yes. Correct! Yes.